Hey guys, into you collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro Marvel Legends series, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, Rintraw build a figure wave. This is the astral form um, of Doctor Strange. Now this figure is an odd one because as you can see, the logo for the Doctor Strange movie is actually for the first movie and not the second movie, Multiverse of Madness. So for whatever reason they thought, um, the Hasbro guys thought, hey, let's do the astral form of Doctor Strange. But let's just redo um, the first movie, Doctor Strange, instead of giving a version for um, this new movie, which I think is odd. I, I think they could have probably, I would imagine he's going to be in his astral form in this movie. He has been in every movie that he's been in. Um, why not just do it and brand it as Multiverse of Madness? So I thought that was kind of odd. A couple of things with it is, you know, we have the Eye of Agamotto. Um, we have the the genie lamp, I guess. Now, what that goes to, I don't know. Could it go to Rintraw, the Builder figure? Maybe that could make sense because that thing was not in the first Doctor Strange movie, so it doesn't make sense to be included here um, unless it happens to be in the movie of, in the Multiverse of Madness. Then why did they brand it as the first movie? So it's one of those interesting things um, we shall see. Now, I know a lot of you guys are going to be wondering, where did I get the wave so early? Uh, Toysnowman.com, based in Canada. Um, they reached out to me and said, hey, we got this in stock. So I put it in my order and shipped it out right away. So Toysnowman.com, toy reseller, um, retailer, excuse me, in Canada. Um, link in the video description below. Um, with use, If you use my referral link, um, you get a 5% off coupon when you create an account. Um, so just a heads up though, they have sold out of the Doctor Strange wave. As soon as I posted on Instagram, they got hit with a bunch of orders and sold out. So, you know, make sure you follow me on Instagram, but always be on the lookout for that. So he should have more um, in stock relatively soon. So toysnomad.com, again, re referral link in the video description uh, below. Uh, Amir, he's an awesome guy. Check him out, YouTube link. Um, to his channel in the video description as well. He posts some like update videos and things It's kind of interesting to kind of get a peek behind the curtain of some stuff So really cool toastsnowman.com big. Thank you to Amir for getting these uh, shipped out to me so so quickly um, But there is the dark Strange. now the artwork packaging on this looks very cool You have this uh, like very different style design like almost like watercolor design lots of blues and everything Looks just really really cool here on the back of the package you get a better look at it um, looking really nice all the Figures here in the way for the Rintraw build a figure. We have looked at Doctor Strange, Wong, America Chavez, uh, Master Mordo. We are on the astral form of Doctor Strange. And then we have the two comic figures to look at before we get to Rintraw, Despair, and Sleepwalker. The bio for this version of Doctor Strange reads Seeking mastery of the mystic arts, Stephen Strange soon learns to project his astral form into the physical world. Pretty generic bio, but anyway, let's take a look at this figure out of the package because it is better than the first one that we got from the very first Doctor Strange movie because um, this one also uses a great body mold in the Spider-Man No Way Home version of Doctor Strange. So interesting there. Spoiler alert. Let's get to it. Okay, so here is the astral form Doctor Strange figure out of the package. And there are some really cool things about this figure, uh, mainly a better body mold. This is the Spider-Man No Way Home Doctor Strange figure, all done in different colors of translucent plastic. It is all translucent too. Everything, his robes, the hands, the eye of Agamotto, the hair, the head sculpt, all, uh, everything. It is a translucent plastic and it's done really nicely. And it's actually a very good body. Um, the, the mold that they use for the body is actually really, really good. Good. Um, the way they changed this version of the Astral Form Doctor Strange compared to the previous one that we got years ago in the Dormammu, um, the Dormammu build a figure wave, is this one was done in a pearlescent white color for the Astral Form. Now that you know, a couple of reasons for that. This would have been you know based off of concept art and what they had available. That's kind of the design that they went with. Um, this new version is, is essentially kind of how he looks. I mean, he looks like himself, but kind of. Um, see-through in, in he wears the blue robes that's why you get the blue translucent color so the translucentness is all based on of whatever color he's actually wearing so like his black boots you can see they're not a blue translucent color they're kind of a darker with a hint of gray um, in them the exception would be the pants although no that's right because he wore dark blue pants so you have a little bit of a darker blue translucent color than his robes here um, the sleeves would be a semi different shade of blue so you have that there and then a skin tone more of a whitish color 
Um, so it's it's kind of cool the way that they did that. You could still see the gold of the sling ring. The eye of Agamotto is gold, but the the necklace band itself is in translucent plastic. And they still go the extra mile with the hair. So you get the darker color translucent plastic up there, but you also get the gray hairs. You get a little bit of that painted into the hair because you really want to show um, kind of the signature thing, that mark of his you know, gray hair that he's got going on the side. So it's cool that they did that. Um, so really nice. Now this is a, this is a, this version of the figure is one that, um, a lot of people probably ha did not want, do not want, will not get, but this is actually a pretty good one, mainly because again, that figure, that Spider-Man No Way Home Doctor Strange figure is actually a really, really good one. So this, a lot of people can have all kinds of fun with this figure photography. I'm sure there's some t talented photographers out there that are going to make magic with this photo, no pun intended, because there's gonna, they're going to be able to do some really cool things. Um, but anyway, we have the head for the Build-A-Figure. Um, in fact, the the, the, Dor the Dormammu Build-A-Figure wave, um, the Astral Form uh, Doctor Strange also had the Dormammu head the, for the Build-A-Figure in there. So it's interesting that this time around we get it as well. And you can see here we have Rintra, the paint apps over the nose and stuff around his eyes. You got some gold um, earrings there. And then on the horns we get a little bit of paint. Uh, texture in the horns and that all looks pretty good so we will take a look at Rintra uh, once we have looked at all of the figures in the wave a couple of things we get one set of interchangeable hands and these are just kind of open holding hands for Doctor Strange nothing special there he has the two open hands um, out of the package and then we also have this genie lamp um, but no clue what this lamp is from. I don't recall seeing it in the Doctor Strange movie, in the trailers, in Spider-Man No Way Home. I could be wrong. People were telling me that the crossbow that comes with Master Mordo was in Spider-Man No Way Home. I guess I missed that. Um, so this lamp, I don't know. Because this figure is being marketed as a Doctor Strange 1 movie figure, um, where does this come into place unless this goes to the Build-A-Figure, which I do not know yet. I think it's going to be one of those things where we just have to wait until the movie comes out to find out more. Because I am not sure. It's not like the astral form is a genie and it comes out of a lamp. Or is it? No, I'm just kidding. It's not. But interesting. The lamp itself looks pretty good. Not a whole lot going on there. It's all, all kind of marbleization, metallic yellow plastic. Uh, but again, it looks pretty good, but no clue what it is or what it's for, so we're just going to kind of throw that off to the side. And then we have our Doctor Strange figure, and we are going to take a closer look at him. But again, I actually really like it. Now the paint, the face looks a little bit wonky, especially the way it was in the package. Like when I posted on Instagram, people had some comments to make. Um, but it actually does look pretty good in hand, so let's take a look. Okay, so here is our closer look at the Doctor Strange figure, and it's going to depend on the angles. Like, if you look from the side, um, it looks really good, but then if you look at it kind of straight on, it's kind of weird, but because it's hard to see the details in the face sculpt. Again, these are the same exact head sculpts. The figures are the, are the exact same, but the difference is no cloak of levitation with this guy, but the figures are entirely 100% the same sculpt and everything. So pinless elbows, but not pinless legs because these legs were reused from the first Doctor Strange movie. Uh, but it is all the same. This is the newer Eye of Agamotto. We get a different shade of um, gold, which would make sense because in astral projection, um, it would be slightly different look to it. So that's why you get a shinier gold as opposed to kind of the dull, uh, more dull gold. But yeah, same head sculpts, but it's just, you know, when you have different color plastics and things, it's crazy how different they can look. Um, but they go the extra mile. So we get a tight, slight pink shade for the lips. Eyes are painted nicely. Um, you get a little bit of gray color for where his facial hair is. And again, there's that white paint on there for the gray hair that he has. So again, it all looks really good. It's just, I know in package, it looks a little bit funky, but having it in hand, you could see the details and it's done so much better than this, this one back here. This one, you know, at the time I was like, oh, that looks cool because the astral form, but even the comic one that they had released around the time, you know, the, when they did the astral form of the comic Doctor Strange, they just went with the all translucent uh, plastic. So it was kind of weird that this one they would go with that kind of design. But here, it's it's a big improvement. I really, really like it. I love all the translucent plastic and then the colors that they went with to kind of match um, around. So like here, you get a little bit of a darker shade for this belt portion because... You know, it's a darker color than the robes that he's wearing. Here on the forearms, those straps that come around, you get a little bit of a darker color because those straps are a different color from the blue that he was wearing. But yeah, all looks really, really nice. Man, I really, really like it. 
looking at the boots, the translucent colors. All looks really good. Sling ring there. One thing about this eye of Agamotto though, the band, the other one on the, the Spider-Man No Way Home had a little bit of curve to it to fit better around his collar. This new one is pretty flat, so it, it, that's why it doesn't sit nice and flush as much. And then this one has the benefit of the cloak of levitation actually, you know, holding the eye of Agamotto down. Whereas this one, he's just, it's just going to be kind of waving around. But for the rest of the video, I'm actually going to have it removed so it doesn't really get in the way. But yeah, astral form Doctor Strange. I really like it. Is it necessary? No, not really. Um, but it can make for some fun photography um, and a nice addition to the collection. This one, you know, especially because this one is just not as good. But this one, it's a huge improvement over what they did. But it's still odd, again, that they would go with a Doctor Strange 1 movie as opposed to something for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. But let's check out his articulation. Even though it's the exact same figure as this, we'll go through it quickly. Okay, so articulation. He's not really going to be able to look down, unfortunately. He's not really going to be able to look up a whole lot. It is on a dumbbell joint, so no hinge to be able to get that huge motion going up or down. Full rotation, of course. Some crazy pivot in there. Shoulders, you can go up out that much. You get a full rotation there. You have an upper bicep swivel in there. You get a double jointed elbow. Oh, that's a little stiff. Stiff elbow there with that much bend there. It is pinless elbow, so that is good. Wrists swivel, and they do hinge. All hands have the uh, horizontal hinge, no vertical hinge uh, for this guy. We get a ball joint at the waist, so you get the swivel there at the waist. You can pivot to the side a little bit. You can pivot to the other side a little bit. You can kind of push it back a little bit, but the belt, the, the sash skirt piece comes up so high. Can't really go back, so it's a little unfortunate. Coming forward isn't a whole lot either so it's limited there but it does look so much cleaner um, and nicer I just do wish there was some more uh, range of motion um, but I still like it better than the the Doctor Strange from this movie legs go out mm, this far apart the skirt piece really gets in the way and really hinders it unfortunately there is an upper thigh cut in there it's kind of hard to work around but you do have it in there and you have a double jointed knee but again these knees uh, not a whole lot you could do at least this skirt has kind of this the flaps that you can open it up a little bit But double jointed knee so you get that much bend at the knee There is a boot swivel so you could swivel at the top of the boot foot hinges all the way down hinge up slightly But the boot hits um, the top of the foot hits the the shin um, Ankle pivot peg holes at the bottom of the feet, but yeah as reform dr. Strange. I actually really like this one um, and I didn't think I would like it as much, but I am kind of digging it. In fact, I like this more than the movie Doctor Strange figure. The Multiverse of Madness brand new Doctor Strange figure. This one, I am not really feeling this Doctor Strange figure, unfortunately. But I'm really liking this astral form Doctor Strange. Okay, so a couple of uh, Doctor Strange figures. We have our two same theme of Astral Form Doctor Strange figures. So the Dormammu build a figure wave, and now here the Rintraw build a figure wave. Here the Armadillo build a figure wave, the Spider Man No Way Home Doctor Strange. These two share a body mold, those two just share the theme. Let's see other Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness figures all together. Okay, so here are the Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness figures all together. Of course, the Scarlet Witch, uh, Wanda Maximoff, is from the WandaVision Disney Plus series in the Captain America's Flight Gear Build-A-Figure Wave. So she's not technically from this movie or released for the movie, but she is in the movie. No telling if we will get a updated Scarlet Witch figure for the movie. I doubt it and don't think so, but crazy things have happened. Um, but I'm just not sure about it. But anyway, we have Master Mordo, Wong, Doctor Strange, America Chavez, and the astral form of Doctor Strange. And he looks pretty good amongst the team. The only thing is, is you can't do crazy things with this version because these suits do not match up. In photography, the translucentness, it kind of hides it a little bit. But, you know, they are not the same, unfortunately. Okay, so that is my review of the Astral Form Doctor Strange figure. It's a fun one. You know, it's not one that's going to be necessary for everyone. I mean, if you want to build Rintraw, obviously you're going to need it so you can get the head for the build a figure. Uh, but outside of that, you know, he can be a fun addition to the collection. You could do a lot of cool things with for photography. Me being the super amateur that I am, 
Um, I it included this little fun little shot, you know, the astral form seems to project out from behind them, kind of at an angle, like he's falling back, he's floating. So I kind of went with something here. I'm using the Hasbro um, stands, the one that came with the Marvel Legends Deluxe Black Widow. I'm trying to hide it the best that I can there. Unfortunately, I can't really hide the parts that hold... Um, hold them at the waist although the clip I wonder if I can get it into the skirt piece you know what I'm gonna try that stay tuned this is this is the progression right for us normal collectors that don't have the photography skills these are the things that we kind of have to play around and find out and that's why I like to uh, show you guys here in the videos because the progression the thoughts how it all comes together because I'm just like a lot of you guys I, I'm not the best at posing. I'm I'm actually really bad at it. Uh, photography. Every now and then, I have a gem or something that's halfway decent or looks, you know, um, like I'm heading in the right direction. Um, so stay tuned. I'm gonna I'm gonna try. It. Let's let's see if I can piece that together. Hold on. Stay tuned. Here we go. Well, it'll be quick for you guys. Okay, so I I did I kind of did it right. I kind you have to angle it. You cannot see the Hasbro stand at all in this one, but I am using the Hasbro stand. He's not standing on anything, and Doctor Strange is simply covering it. Um, so you can play around with it. The tricky thing is it'd be getting the angle. You know, I would rather have this type of angle, but you know, I couldn't quite get that to work, so I had to kind of play around with it this way. You know, ideally I would want like an angle like this. But man, that that's just going to be, at least for me anyway, it's going to be too hard to hide that stand. There are other stands in, in the coat hanger type, the wire type, to get to get it to work. And a lot of people have practice on hiding the things or edit, simply editing them out. Those are things that I do not have experience with that I would not be able to do, cannot pull off. Um, so some really cool things. But again, you there can be some really fun, there could be a lot of really fun things to happen with this figure. Um, it's just, you know, like a matter of what kind of, uh, how you play around with it and things that you could do. Ooh, this might work, right? What about that? Can you see this? Ah, you might see the stand a little bit right there, but maybe that blends in nicely. So some really cool things. Um, but anyway, I think it's a really fun figure. I'm liking it a lot more than I ever really would have thought. And that's because I love the body mold so much that Spider-Man No Way Home, Doctor Strange is such a good figure in here to get it reused. You know, we can't let that one and done, um, you know, be the case for that figure. You had to get it again. So here we go with the astral form. And I actually really, really like it. Surprise hit of the wave for sure. For me, this might actually be like my number two figure of the wave, believe it or not. Master Mordo is really looking to be um, in the lead for me. Um, and then then probably this one. And then like the Wong figure. Because that Doctor Strange figure is really going down. Oh, America Chavez is a really good figure. I'll figure out the ranking when I do the Build-A-Figure. But the point is, this Astral Form Doctor Strange figure is so much better than I ever really would have thought. And I am super happy and pleased with it. But you guys let me know down in the comments below your thoughts. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thank you for watching.